Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Skahiri Crossing State Historic Site. This brief orientation film will acquaint you to the various sites found here at Skahiri and the unique engineering features of the Erie Canal. The canal underwent three phases. The Skahiri site is unique because it's the only place in which all three phases can be seen. The original canal, 40 feet wide and 4 feet deep, can be seen next to the visitor's center. Its original length was 363 miles, extending from Albany to Buffalo, and it was completed in 1825. Traffic on the canal was immense. Tolls collected in its first year of operation paid for the entire construction cost. Clinton's Ditch was a huge success. The Skahiri site is also rich in Indian legend. It was the site of Queen Anne's Chapel, the last Mohawk village in the valley, and the site of Old Fort Hunter. Across the street, the canal crossed the Skahiri Creek. The original plan used a rope tow. Boats entered the locks and were pulled across the water. Quicksand and problems with the tow proved to be hardships. The need to widen the canal became evident, and phase two, or the enlarged canal, was 70 feet wide and 7 feet deep. Ride from the visitor center towards the post office and you'll see a section of it. Walk down the path behind the post office to the river. In building phase two, the old tow system was replaced with an aqueduct, a bridge for the canal. The aqueduct at Skahiri is unique because of the concept of inner arch leanings, and the basic structure still remains intact after 160 years. Notice the towpath to the right, the canal bed rests in the middle, and the bream at the left. Aqueducts were engineering marvels. From the aqueduct, you can take a leisurely walk down to the Yankee Hill Locks along the old towpath. You can also drive to the site. Ask for directions from the visitor center. A parking lot is available. The Yankee Hill Locks are well preserved and shows how the system worked. There were two locks here. A boat would enter, be raised or lowered, and then proceed down the canal. Notice the strong block sides, the cutaways where the doors fit when opened, and the side terraced holding areas. You can also catch a glimpse of the hinges where the door slides rested. Outside of our view is a set of stairs leading to the top of the lock. Stop and look at them as you walk down the hill. They are a well-planned feature of the system and helped visitors and crew reach the canal store. Having two locks facilitated travel up and down the canal and made entry and passage faster. Where you're walking is where the canal locks crossed over to the other side. Part of this has been filled in with the intent of preserving weakened sections. Notice the retainer walls and the way the locks presented itself. Canal locks often encouraged the development of stores. These supplied visitors with needed goods and served as trading posts. The refurbished store here at Yankee Hill Locks is an ex excellent example. The mighty Mohawk has now been dredged and is part of the massive New York State Barge Canal System. The third phase of the Erie Canal is part of the river. And it is a testimony to the 20th century technology and machinery. Notice the canal channel that has been laid. It obviously accommodates larger size vessels. Tribes Hill is the site of lock number 12 on the modern Erie Canal. The lock concept is essentially the same. Notice the large metal doors, which replace the wooden doors of previous two phases. Vessels are still raised and lowered, and the canal is a vital link even today in the intercontinental waterway system. Albany is still connected to Buffalo by this route. The Erie Canal brought growth and prosperity to Mohawk Valley. Over the years, it has remained the Grand Canal. It is a triumph to people everywhere who have dreamed the impossible and made it reality. Thank you for visiting us here at Skahiri Crossing. We trust your day with us will be enjoyable.